Hey guys, welcome to Behind the Fan. We are so excited to introduce you to some of the fans behind your favorite fan accounts. I am from Sweden, and if you can guess and figure that out by everything that's happening behind me, I'm a Miley Cyrus super fan. kind of hard to explain because I've always had love for this woman. Like when I was younger, I always, whenever I wanted to watch a movie, I always turned to Miley's movies, even though I just watched them the night before, but I was like, I'm gonna rewatch them. I was totally obsessed with Hannah Montana and I didn't have, have Disney Channel, so I used to like run over to a friend just to see it. I always had this kind of love for her, but then, it, became, yeah, 2012, 2013, when she entered the bangers era. And that's when everything just started to like fall in place, I guess. I was like, it just felt like I was always meant to be a Miley Cyrus fan. That's a very hard question because it's all about what mood I'm in. So if I'm in a party mood, that's we can stop. But my current obsession is probably angels like you, I guess. No, I don't, because I love them all. I'd probably say plastic cards though, because I just feel like that was like a pure gift from her to the fans. The life of being a European, you have to take every chance that you can because the girls are not over here a lot. I've seen her twice. So one of the first shows that I saw was during the Bangers tour. And that's where that poster comes from. Then I saw Miley two years ago now uh, in Denmark. So I flew over there and yeah. Two years ago when I went to Denmark, I actually got the chance to meet her. So I probably say the show in Denmark because it was such an experience. It's about just never feeling alone, I guess, which sounds super silly, but it feels like since I have a quite huge following, which I'm super grateful for, I always feel like I can always turn to someone whenever I'm bored and just talk to people. It feels like I have this community of family members that I like to call my followers. All the people that I've met, I guess, honestly, through my fan account, but also on other social media platforms where I'm very active about Miley, because I've met people that are probably gonna be with me for the rest of my life, hopefully. I probably say Miley, of course. Like, I can't have a show without Miley. I would love to have a guest Alia, just for that kind of rap vibe. I love to see her stance as well. So probably, yeah, Miley, Iggy, and Harry, for sure. But I'd probably still say the Bangers era, because she was kind of ahead of her time. It just really proved the power that she had, I guess. So yeah, I'd probably say the Bangers era. Justin Bieber, I saw him in February in London. So it was like right before COVID really was called a pandemic, I guess. All the people that you meet and knowing that everyone in this arena or theater or at this festival are there for the same reason. Because I think it's hard for an artist to understand the impact they have on the fans sometimes. But for me, it was just a whole experience. I just want to say thank you to everyone that follows me. I really, really appreciate it. And I've had this account for eight years now. And thank you for always supporting me.